Breast Deep Box is an organization designed to support women who were diagnosed with breast cancer. Through these boxes, they hope to bring comfort, hope, confidence, and joy through the gift of a Breasty Box. And joining me today is their founder and executive director, Erica Hyatt, <laughs> and fellow Breasty Jen Dickerhoof. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Very good. <laughs> yes. So I see all this pink. I see all this fun. Mm -hmm. And I see all this support. Absolutely. So, Erica, give me an overview of Breasty Box and why you decided to create it. Yep. Um, well, in 2021, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. My mom is a two-time survivor. And so I think once it really impacts you personally, your perspective changes. Mm -hmm. um, so after treatments and surgeries, I just knew right right away that I wanted to be able to give back and support that community of women. Um, wow. People often say it's the best worst club to be in mm -hmm. and there's nothing closer to the truth. I mean, it's, it's true. So um, in October of 2022, mm -hmm. a friend and I um, got together and we're thinking of ways to be able to give back and the idea of Breasty Boxes was born. So yeah. it's really just a care package, mm -hmm. but we wanted to be very intentional about the items that we put in it. Yeah. So, we also wanted to support small, small businesses here locally in Fort Wayne. Mm -hmm. That was always a goal of ours. So we put personal care products in there that are safer, that are cleaner. Mm -hmm. We incorporate you know, personalized jewelry from a local business, um, comforting blankets, yeah. silk pillowcases, and things like that. Things that people can use that are functional, but also things that just make them feel special mm -hmm. and, and provide hope and, and boost confidence during a diagnosis as such. Right. So, yeah. And so, and when did you start your business? Uh, about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Crazy. That's yep. amazing. And I know that, Jen, you were one of the first recipients <laughs> of a Breasty Box, um, and you are a breast cancer survivor. Yes. Congratulations on <laughs> Thank that. You. Um, can you kind of give us your story and your journey? Yes. So I had family history of breast cancer, but I just, you don't think it's going to happen to you. Yeah. Um, so it was very shocking. Um, and even having family history, you don't realize how detailed breast cancer is mm -hmm. and all the different types. Mm -hmm. you, I just assumed breast cancer was breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And one of the amazing things about Breasty Box is you're just thrown with so much right away. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's like Erica said, it's so intentional. There's so many things in there that you don't think about. Mm -hmm. um, even as far as like, it's called a port pillow. Mm -hmm. When you have the port for all of your chemo infusions, wearing a seatbelt in the vehicle is uncomfortable, mm. but you don't think about that. Right. Um, so I remember I had my chemo teach class and um, I was given this pink box and I was like, okay, this is really sweet. Um, <laughs> like I said, everything's just so emotional. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna open this yet. And mm -hmm. I got home and I opened it up and I just started crying. It's like a hug in a box, yeah. <laughs> like as, as odd as that sounds, but um, because you know, you have the support of your friends and your family, but then you also have this new community of mm -hmm. women that have been through it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now we're breast friends. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So Love I got it. home um, that day and I did, I, there was a little QR code and I pulled up all that more information. Yeah. I started following Erica on social media and, you know, I honestly started promoting their stuff just because of the way it made me feel mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how amazing it is. And then we've just kind of become friends through that. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, how has that been for you, Erica, being able to build such a community of support and, and really curating those relationships that not only are vital at this stage, um, but also that will last forever? Well, we kind of had discussed as an organization starting this off that we truly believe like our army of support, our our fellow breasties, it's the women that get these boxes. You know, one out of eight women is going to be faced with a breast cancer diagnosis in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. So exponentially, think of that growth and that number. Yeah. And in Fort Wayne as a community right now, we're seeing a staggering rate of patients being diagnosed with breast cancer, especially mm -hmm. in their, their mid to young 30s. Wow. If you think about that, that is a young mom who's trying to balance that along with a career mm -hmm. and now a breast cancer diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So I think really, like Jen said, a hug in a box, like it's it's the feelings patients get when they open these 
that matters to us because it is a vessel for that connection mm -hmm. and that community. So, you know, we really truly hope to be able to have more in-person events to be able to just commiserate together, mm -hmm. to laugh, to cry, because that is the reality of this disease. Yeah. You know, you do try to have to find some light in, in a darkness, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and people can um, receive these boxes by doing what? Reaching out? Do they submit themselves as a candidate? Does someone submit them? So that's a great question. So we're actually at Parkview Packnet Family Cancer Institute okay. at DuPont, and we're going to be in Lutheran shortly, okay. and then also at a couple infusion centers here in town. Mm -hmm. And so patients that go for a chemo ed or a surgical pre-op, once they get diagnosed, they'll receive a box there. Mm -hmm. And then friends and family, if they want to be able to support a loved one recently diagnosed, they can head to our website okay. and we'll sponsor a breasty box. I mean, we've shipped them to Alaska, to oh, Florida, wow. to Maine, but the majority of our outreach really here is in the greater Fort Wayne community. Yeah. Because it's special great. here. Yeah. And probably just um, when you're referred by someone that you know, or just showing up with this box, it, it just really means something. I love what Jen said. It's a hug in a box, in a box like which is great. <laughs> so you have your breasty boxes right now, but I know that you plan on evolving your business. And, um, you know, one of the steps of getting cured or trying to heal is having treatment done. So talk yep. to me about chemo treatment and what you plan on doing with that. So when patients are given boxes at like a chemo ed, um, some of the items that are in there are you're able to take right with you for treatments. Um, we're actually looking to expand and doing first day of treatment gifts. So we call those touch points. Being yeah. able to really be with a patient throughout their entire journey is really important to us. It's not just what happens when you get a diagnosis, but throughout the entire thing. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking to do smaller gifts once parents patients show up for their first day of like an infusion or an oral medication. Mm -hmm. um, we're also looking to expand to be doing community events. Actually on Friday, March 15th, mm -hmm. we're doing a community-wide Pack the Box event at oh. uh, Mocha Lounge at, on DuPont location. So uh -huh. people can come and pack boxes and be able to continue the support. I love that. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. And so lastly, what are some words of encouragement from each of you? I'll, I'll give you a moment, but just um, for a woman who is watching who may be struggling going through the journey of the diagnosis, may have recently found out, or know someone close to them, um, what words of encouragement would you give to a woman watching? Um, I always say it is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, my original breastie, Molly, who was six months ahead of me, and it still resonates, and I tell people all the time, is to feel all of your feels. Mm -hmm. Anger, frustration, sadness, mourning the person that you were before this diagnosis. Mm. Um, feel all of them. Just don't linger in the sadness and the anger too long. You mm -hmm. gotta you know, sharpen up your tools and go to you know, war for this disease mm. to come out the other side. So yeah. feel the feels, just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward, yeah. In, in, during my journey, I adapted the, the motto, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So kind of like what Erica was saying, yes, have those feelings, but yeah. it is what it is. So let's just take it by the horns and, and be proactive and, and do what we need to do. I love that. Yeah. Do what you need to do. Feel the feels, but keep going keep and stay going. strong. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. It was Absolutely. a pleasure speaking yes. with you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And if you'd like more information about Breasty Box, we'll have their website listed below, and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.